This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. The website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we're going to replace a cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite A305 laptop computer. Okay, um, the challenging part about this laptop computer is removing the plastic frame around the screen and the reason is is we have to remove this part with it also and that's a little bit challenging to get off so um let's see what kind of tools we need first we need some um, metal tweezers an electronic screwdriver with a ph0 bit and a ph1 bit an exacto knife blade and a plastic prying tool. If you don't have something that looks like that, which likely you won't, you can use either a guitar pick or a kitchen spreading knife. Preferably something sharp and plastic, but if you don't have it, you can use a metal kitchen spreading knife. Okay, so the first step is removing this plastic frame around the screen. And in order to do that, we we'll need to remove the screws that hold it in. And these screws have some rubber pads that are sitting on top of that. So we use our X-Acto blade to remove the rubber pads. I like to put them, attach them to the screen so as not to lose them. Okay, this one fell down. That's okay. We do the same thing for this one and this one this one has this laptop has six screws that we have to remove before we can remove the plastic frame okay so we removed all the rubber feet then we're going to use our ph1 bit to remove the screws go one by one. Try to keep your screws all in the same place so you don't lose them. The screws on this laptop are not too hard to get to. Some of them it's a little bit harder. This one's not too bad. Okay, we removed the four bottom screws. Now we're going for the top screws. One and Okay, so all the screws are removed. Next, what I want to do is snap off the frame. What I like to do is grab it by the fingernails from the screen side and start snapping. If you hear snapping, that's good. And let's snap it off from here. Okay, now for the tricky part. The plastic frame has this part along with it also, and it has to come off, and that's a little bit harder. And then take the tweezers and go from the edge and try to lift it up. Actually, that works a lot better. So, just like that. So, the trick for this one is to take the tweezers and pop it up like this and this is the plastic frame and we remove it now let's take a quick look in here um, right here you see some uh, plastic shielding here when you put the frame in sometimes the shielding 
gets tend to stuck out, be stuck outside, so you have to tuck the plastic shielding in after you put the plastic frame in. All right, so we've done the hardest part of this. Next parts are not too difficult. What we have to do is get to some screws on the side of the screen and open up and remove the screen. To do this, we need to tilt the screen forward. In order to do that, we need to loosen these screws. Don't remove them all the way. Just loosen them right here and right here, like so. Now you see the screen's tilted forward a little bit. This gives us just enough room to get to the screws here. So there's four screws on each side that we have to remove. There's one, two, oops, this one fell. These screws are really tiny, so make sure they don't run away from you. They tend to have legs sometimes. Three and four. Let's see if we can get the bottom screw out with our tweezers. And we got the bottom screw out. Okay, next let's go to the other side. And we do the same thing. It's a little bit easier because there's no wires in the way. We can just remove all of the four screws. One by one. And done. Okay, so with this is an older type of screen. It has a cold cathode fluorescent bulb in it that has a separate connector down here. And sometimes these laptops have a cable, but this one doesn't, so we can just tilt the screen forward and see what's going on here. So we have two connectors. We need to remove the video connector and the cold cathode cold cathode fluorescent bulb connector, the CCFL bulb connector. We'll just pull this one out, remove the tape over here, and just pull this cable back, and it comes out real easily. And remove this tape. Okay, now we have the screen. This is a this was a very common screen until the LED screens came along. This is a 15.4 inch WXGA screen. So um, many, they have many compatible types of screens that will work for this. And the number for this particular screen is LTN154AT07. LTN154AT07. You can type that number into eBay and Google, and there are many vendors that sell a compatible screen. Now, this screen is glossy. They also come in matte, but if you want glossy, make sure you specify it. And um, that's it. Then you reverse the procedure and put everything back in. And once again, the trickiest part is to put the front part of the plastic frame in so that the shielding doesn't get stuck outside. Okay, once again, my name is Eugene Penrutkovich, and the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you, and good luck.